Hello friends, I hope you're all doing fantastic. I hope it is beautiful and sunny where you live because it is definitely cloudy and rainy where I am today. <laughs> but today is going to be a very short video just sharing with you my TBR for the Asian Readathon. This readathon is hosted by Cindy, who I am sure you know who she is, but I will leave her video down below for the Asian Readathon. She's been hosting this for three or four years. I think I've participated every single year. Um, I've definitely been like watching booktube longer than I've been making booktube videos. This year there are five prompts. I'm going to share with you what I am hoping to read for those prompts. This might change a little bit, but I don't think it will. So let's get into it. Okay, our first prompt is read a book written by an Asian author. That is hopefully a fairly easy prompt and the book that I'm choosing to read for that is Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi. I've been trying to read more graphic novels recently because I love the kind of combination of language and then also art to tell a story. And this is the story of a childhood and the story of a return. Very based in Iran and it's an autobiographical uh, graphic novel that she wrote. The second prompt is read a book featuring an Asian character who is a woman and or older. For this I will be reading Convenience Store Woman by Sakaya Murata. This is a story about a woman who I believe she's like in her late 30s which is not really that old but she's in her late 30s and she works at a convenience store. And I think the novel kind of centers around her happiness at working at this convenience store compared to sort of the pressure from her family and friends to find a different job. As someone who is definitely going through a uh, career change right now, I feel like this will be very relevant. Prompt number three is read a book by an Asian author that has a universe you would want to experience or a universe that is totally different from yours. I have chosen a collection of short stories from Nepal for this, and that is Arresting God in Kathmandu by Samrat Upadhyay. I was actually supposed to go to Nepal right before the pandemic started and uh, obviously I did not because of it, but it is a place that I would like to visit one day in the future and yeah, this is a collection of short stories, uh, I guess like talking from everything from like human connection to marriages. I really like short story collections and I think it'll be a good way to sort of get a feel for the country. Number four, read a book by an Asian author that has a cover worthy of googly eyes. That is a book I recently found at the thrift store and that is The Noodle Maker by Ma Jian. I am obsessed with this cover. I think it's so fantastic. Uh, I will read you just the first sentence of the back. Every week, a writer, <laughs> every week, a writer of political propaganda and a professional blood donor meet for dinner, and I think that sounds incredibly interesting. And I actually noticed yesterday, Ma Jian left Beijing for Hong Kong in 1987, shortly before his books were banned in China. So this might be a banned book in China which makes it all the more interesting. And our last prompt, number five, read a book by an Asian author that has a high rating or was highly recommended. And for that, I'm gonna be choosing Cursed Bunny by Bora Chung. I actually don't know anything about this book. I do know that it was shortlisted for the Booker Prize, I believe, for this year. And I've been seeing it pop up like on my Instagram everywhere, essentially. I think the cover is also really pretty, but I really don't know much about it. All right, so we have five different countries represented here. We have Iran, Japan, <laughs> Iran, Japan, Nepal, China, and Korea. Let me know if you're going to be participating in the Asian Readathon this year and what books you would like to be reading for it. Like I said, I will leave down below Cindy's video where she outlines everything in far greater detail. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video.